Cairo. Today is the day 14 of our amazing Singularity Adventure and we are with Extraordinary Physics, physics, physics Nassim Haramein and I would like in this moment for my audience and it's basically I'm going to translate this in Spanish because for me it's very important to spread your message and your extraordinary work and I would like you explain in the most simple way possible for people to understand Unify Field and the last discoveries with mathematical equation physics you reach and the one that are not published yet, if it is possible. Yeah, well, um, so unified field theory means that the fields of quantum theory and the fields of relativity are unified. Um, and that means that we understand the universe as a whole, the small and the big, quantum theory and relativity. And it's really important because it leads to brand new technologies um, that could um, power the world, you know, make energy for all the world, clean, uh, almost infinite amount of energy and that would give us as well gravity control, be able to control gravity for space exploration, for colonization of our solar system and so on. So it's really, really important for humanity to arrive to the deeper understanding of our universe and the a one theory that explains it all. What was the missing link? Why you were able to arrive to this conclusion? What was missing before when Newton, Einstein, that you managed to nail and put in your math equations? Um, so there was a bunch of things missing, but m most things were there. They just weren't linked together appropriately because fundamentally uh, the discovery that space is not empty, space is full of energy. Uh, in quantum physics, it's called um, quantum vacuum fluctuations. It's always been there in quantum theory, but it was ignored. And then in relativity, it's called space-time. And Einstein described gravity as the curvature of space-time, but didn't say what was space-time made of. So this discovery is the discovery of the materiality of space-time, like what it's made of. And it's made out of very, very teeny um, electromagnetic fluctuations that are smaller, billions of times smaller than the atom, but they are very dense, a lot of them. A lot of energy is in space-time, and when space-time curves, it makes gravity, right, as Einstein described. So now we know that the source of gravity comes from quantum oscillation of the electromagnetic field, and now we can put everything together and understand how gravity works at its most fundamental level and understand how to control it, as well as understand how to extract energy from space-time itself. This is such a perfect timing in the middle of the energetic crisis we are living. So what's next? Um, if you can explain in the technology development, what could be able to develop in short term, middle term and long term? So, um, in short term, um, I need to finish publishing these papers. So I, I have a 200 page paper, a few hundred equations that actually shows all this unification. But when we wrote the unification, we found that we could unify as well all the constants of physics, all the constants in nature, all the forces, of course, and as well all the scales. Um, and so I have to publish this in the next few months. Um, we have to get it into the academic structure. Uh, I will reduce it to a 10-page paper, hopefully publish in really high-level uh, peer-reviewed journals. And then at the same time in my laboratory, we're working on developing this technology. Then we have to put this technology in the world. So we've succeeded uh, already 
partially in getting this kind of technology to work. And so we will be able to extract energy directly from space time to run your house, your car, all of our society, and eventually our spaceships. Um, so, you know, uh, midterm, uh, the energy paradigm is going to change on our planet. All of a sudden, there will be almost an infinite amount of energy. There's 10 to the 93 grams per centimeter cube of energy in space time that's available to us. All the atoms work on it. Everything works on it. Your body, everything in the universe works on it. It's just like tying our technology to um, the fundamental energy of the universe. And then as well, so that's in midterm. And then eventually that will lead us to being able to control gravitational fields. So we're working on this already. And you know, uh, the control of gravity will lead us into being able to explore our solar system. People will be able to go to the moon for the weekend and back. You know, when you have control over gravity, you can do incredible things. Um, you know, it will give the world almost infinite amount of resources because we can go to the asteroid belt, for instance, and get the material. We can get water from comets. I, I mean, like the sky is no longer the limit, literally. Yeah, no uh, limit. Yeah. It's so, amazing. Yeah. Can you tell us about, I think this that you are wearing is one of the first uh, small devices in, you are developing in the laboratory? Yeah. Could so, you explain what is the arc? Yeah, so the arc crystal is like one of the first device to, uh, that I built. I built it in 1999. It, it extracts a little bit of energy from the vacuum, but very little. Actually, I'm, I'm about to publish tests where we measure the energy it, it extracts directly. So that's really exciting. And um, so eventually these will um, be much more strong and they will run your house, they will run your car, they will run all of our society. And if you, if you think, oh, that sounds really esoteric that he's using crystals, you gotta remember that like, all your devices today, what we're getting filmed on, your computer, everything, your watch, everything runs on crystals already, right? Because they're great oscillators. That's why I used crystals. But um, in this case, it's not just the oscillator. It's the, it's the conductor of the energy as well that makes it oscillate. So it's the two in one. It's the, it's the battery and the oscillator at the same time. So. Where, yeah. where people can find more information about you, about your crystals, how can they support your work to help you in the development of all these new so, amazing technologies? So yeah, um, you know, people can go to the Resonance Science Foundation, so resonancescience.org, and uh, we have a free course online, like seven module, there's going to be an eight module with the new paper on it and all this. And so they can take that course, they can participate in the community there. As well, they can go to arccrystals.com and they can learn about the arc crystals and so on. They can get it because it has positive effect on biology through the water molecule and so on. And so it's, it's really like, uh, um, you know, the beginning. And then as well, we're starting a space agency. So like, you gotta stay with us and you'll see that like there's big developments happening in the in the next few months that will you know that people can collaborate and contribute and and get involved with such amazing and last a small question for my female followers about how the control of gravity can impact in the aging process uh, and if there is in, in the next uh, projects coming something to also so when we wrote the equations for unifying physics, we realized that there is a part of the equations that directly relate to biology. And so we're in the middle of writing biophysics papers as well. Um, and um, the result is that we understand the source of energy for biology and getting older um, is basically your body starting to you to produce less ATP, the mitochondria kind of breaking down, 
and so like the the energy of your body is running down and so now that we understand the energy of the body and how it works we can couple to it and this very good evidence that we will be able to like help bring the energy back up so that uh, we can uh, slow down aging extend life or even reverse aging so that's that's really exciting that's amazing yeah. thank you so much Nassim, for thank you allow us this uh, minutes i thank know you. today is the last day in cairo uh, finishing this amazing adventure singularity adventures thank you so much thank you it's so great to have you on tour with us and um you know let's get into the future of humanity back to the future Yes. And uh, we're going to bring humanity to the next level yes. all together. Thank you so much to all your yes, listeners. Thank you. Thank you.